That deadly weather in the south, at least seven people now reported killed in catastrophic storms in Texas. President Biden approving a disaster declaration for the state overnight. And just outside of Pittsburgh, a confirmed tornado knocked down trees and power lines. Samara Theodore is here with the very latest as these storms now move east today. Samara, good morning. Good morning, Wynn. In fact, we have video of that tornado in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was an EF1 tornado. Maximum winds 105 miles per hour hit the Highland Park neighborhood, as well as causing damage to some Pittsburgh Zoo, uh, to the Pittsburgh Zoo. And this is the 23rd consecutive day where we've had at least one tornado reported or confirmed. They have a flood warning up in Pittsburgh this morning. You know who else has the threat and potential for flooding? Down along the Gulf Coast from New Orleans to Mobile, right into Tallahassee. We could see flooding, not only flooding, but some flash flooding. Now, these warnings and watches will expire eastward as the day wears on. But as we move east, our threat for severe weather starts to grow. Damaging winds, flash flooding, and tornadoes possible in this area and zone, uh, the zone in yellow from Destin to Savannah. Let's look at the forecast, Janae. Back to you. It has been weeks that we have started off our weekends tracking those storms or some kind of severe weather events. Samara, thank you.